Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you've seen our previous video, you'd have seen that we've caught some herring, that was just yesterday. Um, lovely little silver darlings, as you can see. I've kept about uh, five of these back and we're going to do some hot smoke kippers. Okay, so the first thing we need to do with our herring is to actually make them into the traditional kipper shape. So, by doing that, um, I mean normally you'd fill it. Uh, sorry, you'd you'd gut a, a fish by going in and pulling the guts out from the belly cavity. Um, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go from the top, open the fish up, and then we'll see the guts and all the rest of it. So the trick is is not to cut through this bottom bit here, but it, it is quite challenging. So I'm just going to start by sort of running my knife up. I'm going to go in about halfway, run my knife all the way up the backbone right up to the head, through the head and through the top lip. Okay. And I'm just going to work the knife and just sort of try and open the fish up as best as I possibly can. So it's quite a tricky thing to do really so find it best just to try and stay one side of the backbone if you can. So just working the knife nice and gently down. Obviously try not to cut into the, the guts at all but Okay, it's just a case of sort of slowly prizing it open as well. Oh, that looks good. All the guts and a bit of row. Right to one side. And there we have it. Nice. Just got to give that a wash. Clean out all the rest of the, um, the stuff left behind. Get rid of the scales as well. Um, and then they'll be ready to pop in the smoker. But I've got the rest to do, so I'll crack on, get them done. And then we'll get them in. So it's easier to actually descale them once you when you actually wash them out and clean out the fish as well, sort of all the gut cavity. And the way I do it is, is just just run the tap and just get get your knife and just basically just slowly scrape away at the um, scales, and you can see they they come off really really easy. But it is better underneath the tap if you just run the tap whilst you're cleaning them, and you'll um, you'll get all the scales off pretty easy. So there are a couple of ways of doing the herring, um, or to make them into kippers. You can either hot smoke them or cold smoke them. Um, like I mentioned, we're gonna hot smoke them. Um, the cold smoking method is, um, it's, you need to make up a brine. So you get your, you, you prep your herring as we have into the kippers, make them into the shape of the kippers. And then you make up a, a brine and, and soak the, the the fish in the brine for about 30 minutes. I think it's roughly two litres of cold water and half a cup of salt. Um, you just mix that together, make sure it's all dissolved. You then um, put your, your fish in there, like I say, for, for about half an hour in the fridge. 
take them out, wash them off, and then you they're ready then to cold smoke. Um, what you need to do is you need to either make up a cold smoking sort of system, or you can buy these little, I think they're called smoke generators. And they're basically like a little sort of, um, you can get different shaped ones, you get round ones or sort of um, rectangle ones. But they're basically like a little maze. And you fill that with the, the wood dust, so oak chippings or, but it's more of a dust than it is a chipping. And you light one end of it, you and then you'd have to make up some sort of box. You can put them in a barbecue, actually. So you can put the whole smoke generator into it. Obviously, as long as the barbecue is big enough and it's got a lid, um, you put that into into there, and then you leave it for twelve hours to just cure in there and smoke. And then the fish is still in a in a like a raw state, but it's because it's been smoked and salted, it's then preserved. So then you can keep them. Obviously, keep them cold, or whatever. And then all you do then is just just poach them in in you know in a in a liquor or sorry in in water or whatever you want to do, um, and that's it basically. That's the that's the cold smoking method. But it is a longer process. Um, I'm sure we'll probably end up doing that at some point when we get if we can get some more. That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, today we're going to hot smoke them. So I'm going to show you. I've washed them all. I've descaled them, and I'm now going to show you how we're going to prep them ready to put into the smoker. So as you can see, they've all been washed, descaled. De There's a few there, but no problem. Um, the idea is, is that you, you hang these. So you'd hang these inside the smoker. Um, and to do that, you'd need to obviously use some form of skewer. You can use like wooden ones, not a problem at all. Um, and you'd sort of basically want to hang them so that they're like that. Um, and to do that, obviously, we just need to thread thread this through. So I'm just going to go through the back, and then back through the other side, and that's basically it. We might be able to get two kippers on one one skewer, actually. So because these are quite long, normally the little wooden ones there they're quite small. So in through the back, and then back out. Yeah, we'll get two on a two on a stick, I think. So, and that's basically what we're we're looking at doing. So, we get them to that stage. Then we we'll, we want to pat them dry. Actually, I should have done that before I skewered them, really. But yeah, I mean it's not a problem. We can make sure they're all nice and dry, both sides. So, but yeah, I say pat them dry before you uh, before you skewer them up. But it's not a problem. Obviously, it works. Just. Don't really want too much moisture in there, if, you know, especially when you're cold smoking as well. If you do decide you want to cold smoke them, make sure they're really, really dry. Um, because obviously when you put them in the box, the little smoke generator or whatever you're going to make, if the fire is underneath it, when I say fire, the, the smoke is underneath it, it will drip down and obviously put that, you know, drip down onto the little smoke generator. And obviously if you're going to make a separate box and then... The smoke's going to come through a tube you'll be fine but you don't need to dry them off well you know you don't need to worry too much but still want to dry them off you don't want to end up with loads and loads of liquid in them loads of water so yeah just make sure they're nice and dry so it gives you the chance as well just to get off any more scales if there are any that you missed and that's it, they're going to be ready like that. So I'll do, get the other ones done and then we'll get over to the smoker. So I've got some oak here guys that I use for me wood burner for indoors, my wood stove. Um, and I am basically just want to make some little chippings to go in the smoker. Obviously you can buy these, not a problem, but I've just been sort of chipping away at these little logs. Just getting some nice little bits that I can use in the smoker. And that'll give it the flavour as well. So, but yeah, just some nice little bits of sort of chipped chipped oak. You can use apple, that sort of thing. A bit of apple wood, be lovely. But yeah, this is what I've got. I've got some oak, so nice and dry. And that's all we want to create is just some nice fine chippings to put on top of the fire once it's got going and that will be that will create all the smoke so I'm just going to show you our smoker that we've got this is a freestanding 
smoker, like I say, you can use a barbecue, you can use anything you want, but that's basically what we use. It's got a light fire in the bottom, and in the lid, you can see there's like a, a rail, so you can hang, you know, fish, sort of meats, cheeses, whatever you want to smoke, really. So that's the smoker we're going to be using. So I've got one of these um, charcoal bags. Um, we're going to start the fire off with one of those first of all, before I add all the wood chippings that I've done. And this will give it a good sort of base, get a, give it a good start. So we'll get the fire going with that. Like I say, we get a nice base sort of to the, you know, get a nice bit of heat in there. And then we'll get the wood chippings on top. Just gonna add these bits of oak as well that I split after getting the little chippings off of. So as you can see we've got a nice bit of coals coming on there now, I'm just going to wait for that fire to die down a bit and I'm going to shut all the vents and then we'll add our wood chippings and then put our, put our kippers in. So I'm now going to add the um, wood chippings in and that will create a bit more smoke for us. As I go. So I've sort of changed my mind a bit guys, I'm going to use a rack, I can't quite get them to hold onto them skewers, uh, onto them sort of butcher's hooks properly so I'm just going to lay them on the actual barbecue and smoke them like that I think. I only had three of them hooks, so we'll leave the skewers on them because it might be easier to get them off a bit later. But and that's it. We'll let them smoke. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but we've got some good smoke going on now with them wood chippings in there. Depending on the amount of heat that's actually in the barbecue or in the smoker, um, I'm going to say probably 20 minutes to, to cook the kippers. So I'm going to check them in a little while. They've been in there about sort of 15 minutes, 14, 15 minutes. So we'll give them a check in a little while. It didn't turn out too bad in the end. Broken up a little bit where I had to sort of get them off the grill, but I mean, ideally, I'd have um, been nice to have hung them really from the butcher's hooks um, and let them cook like that, but I didn't have enough. Um, so, could have really done with like two each, each end, really, rather than I was just balancing like on the skewer, one in the middle, um, where I could have done with sort of one on each end, really. And that would have helped out, but 
yeah, they've turned out quite nice. They're lovely, nicely cooked. Still smoking, look. See, I made a bit of a mistake really. I would ideally have liked to hang them from the, the butcher's hooks, but I couldn't find any more. And then I come in here and uh, where all my utensils are, what they're, what they're all held up by? Butcher's hooks. So, yeah, I could have uh, I just could have grabbed the load off of there, but never mind. Um, next time I'll do it like that. But, um, yeah, they, they've come out absolutely lovely. Um, I've just eaten a little bit. They're absolutely gorgeous. full of flavour and they're so fresh as well you know I mean you can cold smoke them and they'll be they'll take on a little bit more flavour but um yeah straight out of the sea no matter how you cook them I think they, they're absolutely delicious herring so that's you know, just a just a way of cooking them hope you enjoyed the video and um we'll see you next week